Hello, hello, hello. Lisa Zimmer here today. Let's see who joins us today. I'm going live today. It is Saturday, January 25th, 2020. I don't normally go live on Saturdays at noon, but I had um, other plans on Thursday. My dad turned 77, and so we spent the that time with him and had a nice lunch so it's fantastic all right so i hope you're taking time and have some special goals in 2020 to take time and spend with your loved ones hi Anne. hey angie yay and the reason i want to talk about that is everybody's busy nobody has any busier busy than anyone else and everyone's becoming disconnected from humans, right? Um, human touch, in-person human activities. They are um, disappearing, right? And we need to change that, okay? We need to start talking to people on the phone again. We need to start doing things in person with other people. We've become too reliant on texting and technology and, and we're not making those human connections. And time is people's most valuable commodity. And so that's why I appreciate you taking the time to watch my educational videos about doTERRA products, right? Because I know how valuable your time is as well. But take some time for 2020 and work on building and rebuilding those human connections. If you know anyone in um, uh, assisted care living or nursing homes, or that is one of the largest, that is the largest audience who's um, void of human connection. So one thing I used to do, um, and I need to get back to it, I used to go to our local nursing homes and do aroma touch hand massages, right? I spoke with the Terra Corporate, and they suggested, because of all the different people that we were going to see, that we limited uh, our hand massages to just using a little bit of coconut oil and a drop or two of doTERRA lavender. It was one of the most powerful experiences, literally, of my life, because here I was like, oh, I'm going to do good in the world, and I left that experience. Um, being the one that was touched by the process. So our senior audience um, is very void of human touch and human contact once they go into assisted living or nursing home facilities. And so if you ever get a chance and you feel like doing something um, good in the world, um, contact your local senior living uh, center and ask an activities director or they'll direct you to the right people right just call and ask and say hey i would like to come in and do some free um, hand massages for seniors and they would love it they absolutely love that right i don't go in and sell doTERRA i go in and just do um you know the hand massages for the residents to provide that human contact All right so just a little side note for the day so i have two new favorite books I put the link at the top. I will post um, the link here again for you. And let's see, I'm gonna post it in the comments. And then um, it'll be posted at the top when this is redone. All right, so if you're joining me on a replay from YouTube, please, 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 if you get a chance, join Facebook, join this free group, Yay Oils, Y-A-Y-O-I-L-S, public education and I go live normally every Thursday at noon Central Standard Time and share with you some things that I learned throughout my doTERRA journey so I'm a doTERRA blue diamond what that means I'm in the top couple percent of the company and all that means to you is I help lots and lots of people learn about products every time I learn something new I try to share it with you and I help lots and lots of people learn how to share doTERRA and do doTERRA businesses 
And then I also help people who are in all kinds of businesses. So if you want to learn more about how to improve your business, how to um, learn better processes and systems in your business, uh, my husband, Scott Zimmer, and I are going to get back to doing videos on Lisa Zimmer Life and Oils, my business page that you can incorporate regardless of what business you're in, right? So we love to teach people about doing those things with the doTERRA business, but we're also going to work this year on making sure um, that we share uh, things that he's learned being the mayor, things that he's learned um, being in finance, banking, car sales, um, all that. We're going to share some tips with you regardless of what kind of business you're in. And it's Coach Bag Giveaway Day. Go invite your friends, share this video right now, and tell them to get their butts in here because it's Coach Bag Giveaway Day. So what does that mean? The last Thursday, normally Thursday, of every month, I give away a Coach Bag. So how do you get entered? These are the real deal. So this little guy, right, black cosmetic case is what it's called, right, from Coach, from the Coach. So I like to reward you for following us, sharing us, and sharing your favorite recipes and tips with us. This cute little guy fits, does it fit supplements? So it's not as little as you think. So this is Terrazyme. A whole bottle of Terrazyme disappears in there. It doesn't stand up straight, but you can put a whole bottle of Terrazyme in there. Hopefully you've all learned by now to get a supplement oils case right, that um, has little pouches for your supplements. If you want to go really affordable, you can use um, little Ziploc baggies. You can get tiny Ziploc baggies uh, on Amazon, thousands of them for like a couple dollars, right? So um, that's what I used until I got an oils case. And uh, take your supplements everywhere you go. If you did Ziploc baggies, you could fit every single supplement that doTERRA carries in this coach bag. These are fun because they fit oils. They're also fun because even if you don't need an oils case, who doesn't love an awesome coach bag? So I'll announce that winner at the end. We're going to talk about my two new favorite books. Okay, so you can get these books. I put my bit.ly link up here, bit.ly ly forward slash oil tools deals to get these books. This is my friends at Oil Tools. Use my link because if you use my link, you're always going to get the best deal that they have going on. If they have a promo for me going on, um, you'll get that too. So be sure to click on my link. It is an affiliate link. That means, um, so sometimes they'll do a promo and, um, You'll get the discount. Sometimes there's no promo going on. And then what they'll do is if there's a affiliate, meaning like a financial reward for sharing something, then um, they'll send that to me and I use that to fund all our giveaways. So people are always asking, how can you afford to give away good checks? Um, well, first of all, um, I'm a good shopper. Second of all, anytime I post an affiliate link, I take all or any affiliate links and use that to fund free giveaways for you, right? So that way I'm not keeping any of that. I'm always um, sharing it with all of you. All right, so um, this book is my new favorite emotions book. So you can tell I really like it. Um, I've already got little sticky notes all throughout. So feeling good with essential oils your guide to using oils for emotional well-being, protocols and testimonials for emotional health. So why do I like this book um, so well? So um, other emotional books that I've used have always been primarily, they'd have the oil, and then they'd talk about all the different emotions um, that that oil was good for. They have that in the back of here, but the book of this book is the emotion that you're dealing with and then detailed information and protocols on how to use it. So that's what I am loving. So I'm going to give you a um, example. So let's say you're feeling betrayal, okay, or betrayed. So that entire two pages is all about that. It tells you the different oils, the supplements, 
but then multiple protocols, like exactly. So if you're feeling betrayed, take one drop of turmeric oil, doTERRA turmeric oil internally in a vegetable capsule twice daily with meals. It tells you exactly how to use it. Um, inhale wintergreen or rosemary directly from their bottles and apply tension blend, which is past tense, to your neck. There's a whole list. And then it tells you exactly how long to do them, an additional support, and then some testimonials. So I'm loving the reversal where all the emphasis is focused and broken down by emotion because I don't look at my oils and pull up on guard and say, gee, I wonder what emotions this can help me with today. I say, what emotions am I dealing with today? I need to figure out what oils to use and how. Well, that's how this book is written. So that's what spoke to my heart. All right, so I wanna hear in the comments from you, what emotion, what emotion that you are not happy with that you are dealing with today, post it and we're gonna address it from the book. And then also, if you are having some positive emotions and it was a direct result of an oil, will you please post the emotion, the negative emotion that you are having, what the positive result was, and what oils you use, and how, right? So that's an example of how you get entered to win the monthly coach bag giveaway. Uh, all right, so I'm going to start with a couple things that I want to teach you about from this book while we're learning, okay? So why do we use essential oils for mood support and emotions? Um, there's a quote I'm going to read directly from the book for you, okay? Essential oils do not cause sensory impressions, but they can actually alter the way in which the sensory organs themselves operate. This leads to one of the most radical ideas of modern aromatherapy. By altering the way in which sensory impressions are perceived and transmitted in the brain, essential oils ultimately alter what we consider to be real. I have a good example of this. This means that essential oils can change how we see the world. It can change our worldview. This can be of the highest significance for true healing. And that's from Kurt Schnabel from the Healing Intelligence of Essential Oils. I wanna make sure I credit the appropriate people for that. All right, so this means that essential oils can change how we see the world. I have a really good example of this from real estate. So I used to be in real estate. I was talking to a real estate friend of mine and I was talking about that, this is a couple of years ago, and the power of essential oils and the power of citrus. And I can't remember if it was citrus bliss or wild orange, but either way, um, both are fantastic for this. So she was showing homes to her parents to help her parents move here. And a realtor had um, a diffuser and wild orange or citrus bliss in the diffuser running. And of all the homes she showed her parents, that home was not the best choice for them, was not visibly the most appealing. They left, assessed their day. That was the home that their parents liked the most. All right, so fascinating how the power of wild orange or citrus bliss, right? Citrus bliss has wild orange in it, so I have a feeling. Um, the biggest factor there was the wild orange. Citrus oils are positive and uplifting and can improve your mood for a more positive outlook. So they literally walked into a home, these were not essential oil users, and had a more positive outlook on that home simply because they were passively, you know, through aromatherapy, inhaling, they didn't put the oils on, they didn't drink them, they were just inhaling them through the air. So that's how literally essential oils can change your outlook. All right, I wanna hear some of your emotions. Lack of confidence, okay. So um, I'm going to, I don't know all the topics in here and how they're um, 
categorized yet. So I'm going to work on finding ones that fit, right? So lack of confidence. I'm going to have to work on that one. Um, I know it's in here. I just don't know what it's under. All right. So the first one that came back is Kim and Lee Ashcroft stress. Okay. So I go to the stress page, oils for stress. There's a huge list. Um, birch. Birch is not available from our regular line. It's something that's only offered once in a while in the doTERRA convention kit. Um, Lang Lang, Roman Chamomile, Citronella, Lavender, Tangerine, Wild Orange, Lemon, Grapefruit, Vetiver, Copaiba, Frankincense. As you can see, we have a lot of oils for stress. Cedarwood, Sandalwood, Spikenard, Holiday Peace, Peace, Serenity, Balance, Kids Calmer, and Past Tense. And I know that there's even more because a lot of um, the hair blends are good for that as well. Supplements, Serenity Soft Gels, Copaiba Soft Gels, and let's see. Oh, adaptive. Sorry. Um, it has the blend names, so I have to translate. All right. So I will do, um, if I haven't already, I will post in the files tab here a list of all the blend names. What does that mean? When doTERRA has a blend, say, for example, I don't have any of my blend oils right here. Hold on. I always have adaptive everywhere. So adaptive is a blend, right? So it says adaptive. The blend name is calming blend. See that on the bottom? It says adaptive calming blend. A lot of book companies won't put the name adaptive in the book because then they have to pay doTERRA a fee to use that name. So most of the book companies use the blend name down below, which is Calming Blend, all right? So I'll put a chart in the Files tab of Yay Oils Public Education for you. All right, so let's talk about some ways to use the oils for stress. So the supplements are probably my favorite oils for maintaining healthy stress levels, and I wanna use a, an example, a real-life example yesterday. So I was flying from Florida to Peoria, Illinois, and um, it's only like a two and a half hour flight or something like that. Really short flight, right? So I have a, a tip here um, to always make sure no matter how short of a trip you're taking when it comes to flying. I have been like cleaning out my purse of, oh, I don't need that. It's only a two hour trip. It's short, right? So I didn't take my supplement case in my bag yesterday. Big mistake. Always take the little bifold type supplement case or this with your supplements or something like that with you, right? I did have um, like half a dozen um, rollers and feedlets, right? And so I needed those. Even though it was only a two and a half hour flight, I ended up, um, I woke up at 4 a.m. yesterday to go to the airport and I did not get home until almost, it was like two, between two and three in the afternoon for my two-hour flight. So we ended up flying above my airport at home for 30 to 40 minutes. They couldn't land, so they sent us to um, Tennessee, told us they were going to ship us back to Florida. We were trapped on the airplane all day. Um, the furthest we could go was the jet bridge, but we couldn't even leave the jet bridge. There was no food. They uh, had run out of drinks, right? So we're talking major stress. So make sure that you do plan for the what ifs when you travel, okay? All right, so what I wish I would have had was either Serenity soft gels or Copaiba soft gels with me because I can take one of those during the day and instead of then using it for the sleep factor, right, I wasn't tired, it would have helped me with feelings of anxiousness, okay? It wouldn't have put me to sleep like it does at night, it would have helped with feelings of anxiousness and feeling calm. So that would have been Serenity Soft Gels, Copaiba Soft Gels, or Adaptive Soft Gels. Okay, but here is the one thing that I want to make sure people know. I had very little stress. Like, people were crying. People were freaking out. There was a bridesmaid, or a, I'm sorry, a maid of honor for a wedding on the plane. 
I don't know if she made it to the wedding or not in time. There was a five-year-old girl and her mom and her grandma and her sisters on the plane whose five-year five-year-old birthday party was that afternoon and 50 people were coming with food and food trucks and it was like some humongous deal right they were on the plane so as you can imagine there were a lot of people not handling stress well I had commitments I had barely made it home in time for a commitment right but my old self would have freaked out my new self that uses doTERRA supplements on a daily basis I didn't freak out at all. In fact, I had a lot of fun. I met a lot of people in the jet bridge, made some friends, took a selfie. We were all laughing, having a gay old time. Um, and it's because I take doTERRA Lifelong Vitality Pack every day to maintain a healthy balance, healthy mood, help me manage stress levels better. Terrazyme and PB Assist Probiotics, okay? So the reason is your gut health helps control all these brain chemicals, right? Your gut controls everything, immune system, brain chemicals, emotions, mood. Um, the brain chemicals made in your brain, right, are still controlled by the gut health. So Lifelong Vitality Pack, PB Assist, and Terrazyme will help you manage stress levels better, help you um, dopamine, serotonin, all these brain chemicals, right, for I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm handling this, I'm not handling this, I'm freaking out, right? Lifelong Vitality Pack, PB Assist, Terrazyme, boom, the magic trio, period, okay? So first and foremost, so it would have been nice, right, so um, to have Serenity Soft Gels, Copaiba, or Adaptive, but it wasn't like, oh, no, freak out, it was like, I'm a little annoyed, and um, so that's as bad as it got for me. All right, so other ways to use the oils for stress. There are suggested protocol. I'm reading from this new book I love. Link is in the um, comments and at the top. Diffuse serenity and inhale it deeply as it diffuses. Apply peace reassuring blend over your heart and take five deep breaths. I'm a checklist kind of gal, so I like the way this book is broken down where it says do this, and it tells you exactly how and why. Take two Copaiba soft gels twice daily and two calming blend capsules. That's the Serenity, or no, calming blend. That is adaptive, right? Sprinkle two drops each of frankincense, Roman chamomile, and lavender onto a cotton wick inhaler and inhale deeply multiple times per day. Or place one drop of each oil in palms and inhale deeply. I'm going to talk more about that. For kids, apply peace over the heart. Calming blend to the back of the neck calmer, the calmer kids roller. And diffuse peace oil. Use daily as needed for feelings of stress. Continue any methods ongoing that work well as a daily protocol to help dissipate energy and prevent stress. Then it goes on to additional support you can use and a testimonial. All right, so I want to talk more about why I love the protocols in this book. Okay, you see my little note here, note here, inhaler. So that's one of the things I had yesterday were little um, nasal inhalers in my purse. And so uh, I was getting tired and because I had only had two hours sleep towards the end of my flight and I was barely gonna get home in time to do a live video commitment for a large group of people that was a, kind of a huge deal. And I had Motivate inhaler, nasal inhaler in my purse, and I was inhaling it. And so I was able to come home, do what I needed to do, and stay awake and stay awake until like 10 o'clock last night. Normally I would have come home and gone to bed and then screwed up my schedule for the next three days. I was able to inhale that Motivate inhaler and keep going. All right, I'm gonna go grab an inhaler for you quick so you can see what those look like because um, they're really important to what we're talking about today. Thank 
just a minute. I haven't unpacked my purse yet, so I got all kinds of junk stuff in here in a very disorganized fashion. Okay, so this book promotes the use of nasal inhalers. I'm going to show you what this is in a minute. So why do they promote nasal inhalers? All right, so inhaling the oils is one of the single best ways to use them for emotional. Many of the protocols in the pages of this book include aromatherapy inhaler blend. This is where an oil user makes a custom blend by pouring two to four different oils onto a cotton wick diffuser and placing it into an aromatherapy inhaler tube, right? So this is how it is in my purse. And um, Vix used to make these, Vix inhalers. In fact, I was addicted to them as a child. It's not good for you. Oops, this is a cheap one where you can't open it and reapply. Okay, so I'll go find a link when we're done on Amazon. Of I might even have these in my Bitly Tools link. I'll go check. Um, you want to get aromathe aromatherapy inhalers where you can undo this piece and a cotton wick falls out and you can reapply the oils. This is a cheapie I got, which is not my favorite. I got this off of Amazon. You can't re- Oh, oh there it goes. I got my thumbnail in there. Wouldn't recommend that, that really hurt. All right, so I just popped that off. All right, so here's all the parts to an aromatherapy inhaler, okay? There's the outer tube, the cotton wick, that put oils on. This aromatherapy inhaler is like a year old. I put like 15 drops of Motivate on here and it still works, all right? Then the, it goes in this tube and then you put the cap on. I like the caps that you can um, screw off and keep reusing but I, apparently you can pry these off with the fingernail, but it didn't feel good. Okay, then you put your cap on. Here's how you use it. It's really attractive, right? That'll keep me going all day, okay? But the emotional benefits are endless. Um, you put the oils on the cotton wick and place it back into the tube. Instead of simply recommending water or hand diffusions, hand diffusion is where you put a drop on your hands, rub it together and smell. You see me do that a lot on video. Um, they have focused on protocols using inhaler blends because aromatic inhalation, inhaling through your nose, is one of the most effective and potent ways to positively impact one's mood. With aromatherapy inhalers, you can create an easy, portable, long-lasting aroma that can, that can be enjoyed regularly on the go, whereas with water, like a diffuser, or hand diffusions, you're contained to one room with a diffuser or having to pull, pour oil on your hands. Gives you freedom and flexibility. Okay, so I'm a big fan of these on an airplane, and here's why. Okay, um, we want to make sure that we're respecting non-oil users in whatever environment we're in, okay? So that is very important to me, okay? Here's why. If someone were to be on a plane and whipped out doTERRA's past tech, past tense next to me and started using it. It is a very strong oil and not everyone responds the same to every oil, okay? It would give me a headache, okay? Doesn't mean it's gonna give you a headache. It's one of doTERRA's most popular oils and actually it's for headache, but it gives me a headache, okay? So I wanna encourage people when you are traveling in a confined space like an airplane, use aromatherapy inhalers. Find oils that don't have the stronger scent like a past tense for your aches and discomforts, right? So a good oil, if someone has a neck tension or is uncomfortable, find the oils that are good for that without strong, powerful scents, right? Maybe don't use past tense on the airplane because we don't wanna offend non-oil Users, right? We want to win them over. We don't want them running the other direction, especially if someone's sensitive to smells. I am sensitive to smells. You and I can smell the same thing, and it smells a hundred times uh, more potent to me. It smells a hundred times stronger to me. Same thing with my hearing. I can hear things other people can't hear. A lot of it's the side effect of that uh, uh, antibiotic prescription poisoning that I had. It heightened my senses, okay? So use, if you're on a plane and you're having aches and discomforts, use copaiba. 
uh, if you have to put it right on, right? Use aroma touch, use frankincense, use stuff that isn't super duper powerful strong uh, in the scent department, but will get the effect that you want. For emotions, use aromatherapy inhalers, right? You can put as many of these in your purse as you want. There's no limit because it's not liquid, okay? It's on a cotton wick. They can't take this away from you. It's not a liquid, all right? So you won't get greasy. You can't Fill it. So anything for aromatherapy, get these great little aromatherapy tubes. I'll post, um, I'll go check out and see if the oil tool site has the aromatherapy inhalers. If not, I'll go find the link um, for some off of Amazon for you that I like that are easy to refill. All right, so great ways to use those oils for stress. Um, I want to talk about body confidence. So that is one that, oops, wrong book, that is very important to me because we're talking a lot about weight management and living a healthy lifestyle, and so I want to talk about body confidence. All right, so in this book, under body, oil blends for positive body image. Douglas fir, Siberian fir, arborvita, eucalyptus, melissa, basil, jasmine, magnolia. I like listing them all because you may not have them all. Spearmint, Immortel, HD Clear, Balance, Peace, and Soul. A whole bunch. Um, and then the kids' rollers. Okay. Supplements, um, the Terra Greens help with um, positive body image and give you nutri nutrients you need to actually physically help your body image. Um, lifelong Vitality Pack, okay? Remember I told you Lifelong Vitality Pack helps with a lot more than what you think, and that includes positive body image and self-confidence. So Terra's Lifelong Vitality Pack Vitamins, Magic Trio Lifelong Vitality Pack, PB Assist Probiotics and Parazyme every single day. I don't care what your problem is emotionally or physically. That is the first step. Okay. So for positive body image, diffuse two drops Arborvita and two drops Spearmint and deeply inhale for five breaths. Apply balancing blends to abdomen and bottoms of feet and apply Immortel anti-aging blend over the heart. I did not know that. Sprinkle two drops each of Melissa, Douglas fir, and basil onto your cotton wick inhaler and inhale deeply multiple times per day. While showering, apply jasmine to wet skin over the heart and the abdomen and thoroughly massage in the skin. Apply magnolia to your wrist to use as perfume and inhale deeply for five breaths. Use doTERRA's Peregrines in the morning and the Lifelong Vitality Pack one to twice a day to help promote physical health for the body. Very cool. There's also additional suggestions and testimonials. The testimonial literally ends with, these oils are miracle workers. Love it. Okay, let's see what are some of the others. Kim says, when I'm feeling down due to low energy, fatigue, and emotionally drained, she loves to smell motivate. Oh, yay. All right. So I already talked about motivate. I like applying it to my diffuser necklace, and I smell, and that way she smells it every once in a while, and it perks her up. Love it. Hey, Anne-Marie. Frustration and self-doubt. Diane would like to know more about frustration and self-doubt, and I think I, <laughs> um, Diane, you don't know this, but those are ones that I tagged for myself to read today. So I tagged emotions for myself that I'm dealing with that are part of female hormonal issues, perimenopausal and menopausal. So frustrated and self-doubt was one. Anger was another. I've never had anger issues, and for the first time ever, I get angry and also feeling annoyed. So I'm going to read those as well. Okay, frustration and self-doubt. Frustration, bergamot, lemon, grapefruit, you're going to see all the citrus oils. Bergamot, lemon, grapefruit, wild orange, peppermint, blue tansy, vetiver, 
all the blends, renewing blend, reassuring, invigorating, joyful, restful, grounding, captivating, hopeful, and then copaiba soft gels. Okay. Protocol, diffuse two drops each, grapefruit, wild orange, lemon, and bergamot, right? So load up on citrus. You know I load up on citrus every single day, right? Um, in my water today is, I think, the huge lemon, grapefruit, cinnamon, and I have white grapefruit left, so that's in here too, okay? I noticed when I fell off the wagon in Florida that my hormones went cuckoo, and um, I was having a lot of self-doubt, anxiousness, and negative. Sorry, I saw the words running behind me. It was driving me crazy in my microwave. All right. I fell off the wagon from drinking the oils in my water because I had guests and we were going out and about every day. And I didn't take my oils with me to drink in my water. Okay. Lemon, grapefruit, cinnamon in your water every single day. Okay. Helps with frust feelings of frustration, self-doubt, anger, annoyance, has positive effects. All right, apply three drops, blue tansy and lemon onto cotton wick inhaler and inhale deeply multiple times per day, every day for five days. Apply renewing blend or reassuring blend over your heart and inhale deeply. Diffuse citrus bliss and elevation. I have a trick for um, elevation too. As long as you're not going in the sun, take elevation, put it straight on your fingers, and do a um, right here. It's something to do with chakras or third eye, or I'm not, I don't know anything about that world, but um, it really does help. But don't go in the sun. We're going to talk about photosensitivity in a minute. All right, use daily as needed until feelings subside. It also has tips for additional support. All right, so that was feeling frustrated, okay? And then let's talk about photosensitivity. I have that listed in here as well. They reference phototoxic tips. Phototoxic are not just photosensitive oils, they're oils above and beyond. Okay, photosensitive, phototoxic. You don't want to put these oils where the sun will shine. So literally. Put the oils where the sun don't shine. All right. Phototoxic is a step above photosensitive. Citrus oils are photosensitive. These citrus oils are phototoxic, meaning literally if you put it on your skin and go in the sun, it will burn you badly and can discolor your skin and even scar. Okay. Bergamot. We talk about that almost every video because I love bergamot so much, but I don't put it anywhere that it sees the sun. Wild orange, grapefruit, lime, lemon, and tangerine leaf. Tangerine rind is generally not considered phototoxic. Tangerine leaf is. So it's very important when you're using doTERRA blends that you're looking at the ingredients. And if anything like bergamot or tangerine leaf is in the blend, that means that blend is photosensitive or phototoxic, okay? That's why you see me so often put oils on my forearms because even if I go out in the sun, those aren't places that I go out in the sun like this. You'll see me put them behind my ears, but a lot of times my hair is down or even if I pull it back, I pull my hair back like this and I always, always, always try to wear a hat when I'm in the sun so that my scalp and other areas, my ears don't burn or get sun damage. Right, you're going to see me apply oils to my forearms, behind my ears, on my abdomen, lower back, bottoms of feet most of the time. Right, so that was phototoxic. I also want to talk about genetics, okay? So people respond differently to different oils, and that's okay, right? So, for example, I have a friend who's a redhead, light skin, like we are very genetically similar. I cannot put straight peppermint on my skin. It irritates and burns my skin. It's very hot to me. She can slap peppermint all over her whole body straight out of the bottle, okay? We're all different. That's okay. You're also going to respond emotionally differently to oils. Adaptive and oil energizes me throughout the day. Other people can take adaptive or use adaptive, and it makes them sleepy, right? Everybody's different. Figure out when you respond to an oil, how you respond 
what you loved about it, what you didn't, and make notes, okay? It's a great way to stay on track and not forget to use your oils. Genetics um, can play a role in that as well, right? People always talk about uh, being genetically predispositioned to cholesterol or um, my family has rosacea, et cetera, et cetera, all right? Only 10 to 20% of your predisposition to physical and emotional diseases are from genetics, okay? Nine, 80 to 90% of it is lifestyle choices. Diet, sleep, whether you use oils or don't use oils, how you manage stress, um, do you exercise, how many toxins you take in, do you have addictions, um, do you take medications, like all kinds of things affect, right, your emotional health and your physical health. Only 10 to 20% is from genetic predisposition. Right, and that's standard, not just in that book. You can um, Google that a million ways, and it's still going to come up with the same results. Only 10 to 20% um, of genetics affects physical and emotional um, health outcomes for you. I get so frustrated when I talk to people, and they're like, oh, I'm on you know, this medicine and that medicine and that medicine because um, my family all has high cholesterol, my family all has blood pressure issues, and when I know 80 to 90 percent of uh, their lifestyle choices uh, is what's controlling that, not just genetics. All right, let's talk about anger, oils for anger. I'm not going to go through all of them, right, because again, it's a lot. Diffuse two drops each, grapefruit, wild orange, lemon, and bergamot. You're going to see that blend a lot for negative emotions, anger, frustration, sad feelings, anxiousness because these citrus oils, folks, are key. And the reason I love for you to invest in the citrus oils, they're cheap, they're really inexpensive because citrus is so readily available and easy to farm, the savings gets passed on to you. You can get an entire large bottle of lemon for $10, okay? So that's why I drink it every day. Grapefruit I drink every day, super inexpensive, okay? Um, for anger, apply one drop of peppermint and geranium over the heart. If you're sensitive to peppermint like me, right, I would make a roller of peppermint and geranium, 20 drops each in a 10 milliliter roller, top it off with coconut oil and roll it over my heart. Place one drop each of frankincense, Roman chamomile, and lavender in your palms and inhale deeply. Or make a um, aromatherapy inhaler, frankincense, Roman chamomile, and lavender. Inhale peppermint or rosemary directly from the bottle to reboot and refresh the mind. Lang Lang is also great for anger management. And then it goes on to list a whole bunch of other protocols. It recommends almost all these uh, emotions recommend that. But I'm telling you, lifelong vitality pack probiotics, um, PBSS Terrazyme. All right. So you get an idea of, I'm not going to go through all these because there's so many, but Love this book for the emotions. Emotional detox, get rid of negative thoughts, yep. So I need to make a note that when I'm done here, I wanna post the blend names um, in the files tab, blend names list. And you can just print that out. You can print it out really small, make a bookmark, um, or you can print it out really big. And um, So I've had people print it out the full size eight and a half by 11 and tape it into the um, front of their books for the blend names. All right, so this is um, the oil use book that I uh, have been using since convention, this one in Modern Essentials, and you can use that Bitly Oil Tools deals um, to get this Essential Life book, the sixth edition. Okay, so another new favorite book. I haven't gotten through the whole thing yet, and this is not a topic I'm well educated on, so that's why I love having the book. Essential Oils for Maternal Wellness. This is for um, pregnancy and uh, stuff like back aches and headaches, and nutrition, um, digestive, all kinds of great stuff for pregnancy. All right. So what you're going to find uh, are most doTERRA products are safe for pregnancy, okay? So there are just a couple products that people avoid. Clary Sage, um, GX Assist, 
oregano and jasmine and um, yarrow palm internally okay now that's not across the board some feel that um, they are uh, happy with the use of yarrow palm and jasmine during pregnancy but flat out the ones that no matter what resource you read GX assist and clary sage are um, oils to avoid during pregnancy clary sage is used at the end of pregnancy um, to help uh, facilitate uh, going into labor okay so feel confident about your use of doTERRA i'm always amazed how many people in my group go in is this safe for pregnancy is this safe for pregnancy is this safe for pregnancy it's easiest to remember avoid gx assist supplement and avoid clary sage okay so those are the biggies that you're going to see but um, don't rely on me get a resource that specializes in pregnancy um, birth and babies okay stephanie fritz has a great book i've used that for many years i'm loving this new uh, maternal wellness book as well okay so yay kim says she wants that book she uh, is labor delivery nurse yay All right so Kim, go to that bit.ly forward slash oil tools feels, and that's where you can get these um, new ones. The feeling good with essential oils and essential oils for maternal wellness, guys. Love those books. Okay. Plus, you can get all kinds of other tools on there, too. Okay. Anne-Marie asks about focus. Yes. I have terrible focus, and so I'm going to um, go check out. There's a focus page on here. And I'm going to check that out today, and I'm going to make those recipes and see how that goes. Rosemary, basil, black pepper, peppermint, lemon, grapefruit, frankincense, geranium, cardamom, focus blend, mitomax, and terra greens for focus. So I'm going to go check that out. Let's do the cotton wick inhaler for focus, Anne-Marie. So sprinkle two drops each, rosemary, lemon, and black pepper onto a cotton wick inhaler and inhale deeply. Or do one drop of each, rosemary, lemon, and black pepper. I'm reading this because I didn't know black pepper was for focus. One drop each, rosemary, lemon, and black pepper in palms and inhale deeply. Mm. I wonder how that smells if you could put it in the diffuser. It didn't recommend diffusing the black pepper, so I'm gonna guess it doesn't smell good. For a diffuser blend, you could do peppermint, rosemary, and grapefruit. That probably smells better. But for your cotton wick inhaler, or just doing it right into your hands, do rosemary, lemon, and black pepper for focus. Yay. All right, so you guys got a pretty good idea how cool this new book is. I really like the layout um, much better. So for essential oils and emotions. All right, let me check my notes on what else I wanted to talk about today. Um, oh, we talked about the pregnancy book. I want to talk about um, Terrazyme more. I did a video and studied in depth on the Terra's Terrazyme yesterday. And I took every single one of the ingredients. Um, I don't know how to pronounce these right. So all of you that are smarter than me, yay, good for you. So um, protease. The pain, amylase, lactase, lipase, cellulase, sucrase, right? I researched every single one of these ingredients, however you say it, and looked up their health benefits. And terazyme, folks, is for way more than digestive health, right? That's what we all thought it was for. It is, right? It's way more beneficial than just weight management. I've been talking about that. I take three... <clears throat> Three tears I'm when I wake up and three when I go to bed and I'm losing weight. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's for way more than that. So how did I um, learn all this? I want to teach people how to Google well. Google benefits of digestive enzymes. Benefits of each ingredient. And so what I learned was terazyme. So first of all, we all have to take terazyme, period, unless you're allergic to an ingredient, okay? So one of the ingredients is papain, um, and that's from papaya. So if you're allergic to papaya, um, you won't be able to take the terazyme, okay? So other than that, everyone should take terazyme. Here's why. 
starting about the 1950s, um, preservatives and artificial sweeteners came about, okay? Our body doesn't know what to do with that, okay? So then throw in all the processed foods. I never go to the grocery store because um, we eat fresh foods here and we get it from HelloFresh. So our, our food shows up every day, or not every day, once a week in a big box and little brown bags, all prepackaged, ready to go. So I don't go to the grocery store at all. My husband goes to the grocery store every couple days to pick up like milk, bread, which we don't even eat. A loaf of bread lasts us like forever until it goes bad. We don't even eat it all, right? So we don't eat a lot of processed foods. We eat very few. We eat very few preservatives, right? What happened with the American diet, I literally was appalled when I went to the grocery store with my dad in Florida because I had to get some groceries. Every aisle in the middle of the grocery store is crap, people. It is all processed food, preservatives, artificial sweeteners, pure garbage. Do not shop in the middle aisles of a grocery store, all right? The perimeter of a grocery store are your fresh fruits, vegetables, or the things that should be in your diet, okay? Our body was not meant to digest the crap down the middle aisles of a grocery store. Our body doesn't know what to do with it. So that's why we are so stinking unhealthy in this American diet. Yeah, or whatever your beliefs are, right? God did not create this body to digest preservatives and artificial sweeteners and processed foods, okay? So that's why I don't care how good your diet is, you need parazyme, okay? Our body has digestive enzymes that were designed to break down fats, carbohydrates, and proteins, right, from real sourced foods, meat, um, humana, 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 grains, right? That's what your digestive enzymes were designed to digest. Digestive enzymes from terazyme, the way they formulated these ingredients, also helped break down the preservatives, the artificial sweeteners, helps your body extract the good and eliminate and get out the bad. Terazyme cleanses you from head to toe, helps your body absorb and assimilate the beneficial parts of your food and get out the rest, okay? If you don't take terazyme and your body um, digests the stuff that it knows how to digest, the other crap lands in different parts of your body right? Turns into cysts, turns into um, spurs, turns into fatty cysts on your body, turns into ganglion cysts, right? All this junk in your body that isn't supposed to be there, right, is from your body not being able to digest your food and get out what isn't needed. I hope this is coming across clear, right? Also, the foods that we eat nowadays, right, you have to eat five times the amount of fresh fruits and vegetables to get the same nutritional benefits that you did prior to the 1950s, right? Because our farming practices, okay, we're depleting the nutrients from our soil, we're trying to grow things bigger, better, faster, and it's depleting the nutrient benefits from our foods, okay? So, for example, the number one ingredient in terazyme is protease. It breaks down proteins, right? Helps um, break them down to peptides and amino acids so they can then be properly absorbed and digested, okay? Enzymes are naturally produced by the pancreas and stomach. But again, our digestive enzymes that are naturally produced were intended to break down proteins, carbs, proteins, carbs, and fats, right? All the other junk that you put in your body, you need doTERRA's help with, okay? Uh, digestive enzymes help with cell division, blood clotting, immune function, protein recycling, all of the vital processes in your body start with 
the enzymes in your body, okay? They play a huge key role in your overall health. Helps with pancreas support, um, colorectal, stomach, um, digestive enzymes, parazymes, super important if you've had any kind of gastric surgery to help your body digest your food better. Benefits of digestive enzymes help with bloating, belching, heartburn, loss of appetite, constipation. All, anything digestive related, terazyme is the answer, okay? We know that it's for digestive health because it's labeled digestive enzyme complex, supports healthy digestion and metabolic processes. So we know it's for digestion and improved metabolism, right, for weight management. But we, what we didn't know about terazyme is that it helps promote wound healing. It helps accelerate new tissue growth, shortens your recovery time post-surgery, can help reduce pain and swelling from surgery, reduces muscle soreness and better muscle recovery, right? So if you're exercising right now because you're interested in weight management and trying to get back in shape, you want to increase your terazyme use, okay? It um, helps with anything uh, neurological, um, nerve function, helps with allergies, sore throat, redness, ulcers, you name it, these help, right? Because Google benefits of every single one of these uh, ingredients, so you can get the full scope of what these are for. All right. Why do we take them with food sometimes, and why do we take them without food? Okay, here's the differences, okay? Taken with meals, right? Take your terazine before each meal. It helps with digestive-related benefits, bloating, gas, etc. On an empty stomach, that's what I'm doing. I take it on an empty stomach, 3 in the morning and 3 at night. It stimulates the immune system. A healthy inflammatory response, liver health, and all the other functions that it's good for. That metabolic support, the wound healing, the if you're feeling run down, the muscle recovery, right? If you need digestive support, take it with meals. I don't, so I'm just doing the three on an empty stomach, AM and PM, okay? If you need digestive support, take one or two when you wake up, take one or two with every meal, and take one or two when you go to bed. It's not unusual to take up to nine parazyme a day, right, depending on what your needs are. Okay. I want to talk about what lactase in here does, all right? If you're lactose intolerant, this needs to be a daily part of your regimen, not just when you eat anything with lactose, all right? So lactase that's in terazyme is designed to break down, right? Lactose is a sugar and milk-related product, designed to break down that lactose so you can digest it, okay? There is a gluten, anti-gluten enzyme blend helps break down gluten. So if you have a gluten sensitivity or celiac where you can't break down gluten, this must be a daily part um, of your regimen. Lifelong Vitality Pack, Pevious Probiotics, and Terazyme. Not just when you eat gluten, right? You take it before every meal, especially if you are celiac and you are going out to eat you have to be afraid of cross-contamination, right? So the anti-gluten enzyme blend and some of the other enzymes in here, right? That's exactly what they're for. Google the benefits of each of these ingredients. So, I mean, I have four pages of notes on the um, health benefits of terazyme, right? I can't read them all. It's not even possible. Um, low potassium health. Um, respiratory health, hardening of arteries, like the lists are ridiculous. Okay. Also, one of the ingredients helps with grains, cereals, nuts, and vegetables, right? For those of you that have trouble with nuts, 
right? You may have a condition where your body has a hard time with nuts. You need to take Terazine before every meal, not just when you eat nuts, okay? All right, I won't go into the rest um, about what each ingredient does because that's a lot, right? But I have a one o'clock appointment and I better go. All right, so make sure you add Terazine to your daily regimen. Make sure Lifelong Vitality Pack is a part of your daily regimen. Get your Feeling Good with Essential Oils book. I'm going to come back and do links for the Aromatherapy Inhalers. And the winner of the Coach Bag Giveaway today, of the, for the Coach Bag Giveaway of the month, is Lindsay Adair. So yay, Lindsay. All right. Um, I hope everybody has a wonderful weekend. Please keep sharing in the comments aromatherapy inhalers that you love, what oils you love for emotions. Share in the comments because today's comments will get entered for next month's coat bag giveaway. Share in the comments what Terrazyme benefits you have gotten, the digestive, the weight loss, the uh, joint um, pain, like whatever has been beneficial for you with Terrazyme. Please share in the comments. That's how we all learn. All right. And be sure to check out uh, bit.ly forward slash oil tools deals for these books that we talked about today, the maternity, the emotional, the essential life book, and anything else that you need. Look for aromatherapy inhalers while you're in there, and I'll get links posted for you all. Congratulations, Lindsay Adair, on winning the coach bag giveaway of the day. Hey, All right, I'll see you all Thursday noon, Central Standard Time. Have a great week. Bye.